finally angles in the exterior. Again, an angle, but now exterior. Think vertex outside the circle. Like in this picture, here are the sides of the angle. One's a secant, this one's a tangent. See where they meet? Outside the circle. For this one, shine a flashlight. Notice it also intercepts two arcs. There's an arc that's a really big arc, and there's an arc closer that's a smaller arc. This time, we say that the angle is half of big arc minus little arc. And we memorize that. Why big minus little? Because we want a positive measure for the angle. So in this picture, the measure of angle 1 is equal to half of the bigger arc is this one that's farther away, BC, minus the closer one, AC. Let's look at some examples for this. First thing to do, identify what type of angle we're dealing with. Extend the sides if necessary. I see the angles outside the circle, so I write angle equals half of big arc minus little arc. Then I'm going to plug in what I have, but the flashlight might help me. So I'm going to shine it on here and see what arcs are being intercepted. 138, the farther away one, 66, the closer one. The farther one will come first because it's bigger. X is the angle. The big arc is 138. The little arc is 66. This time x is already by itself, so all we have to do is compute and then take half there. Basically, it's just a fill in the blank game and then solve. Another one, 17, sides of the angle. Here's the vertex outside the circle. So angle equals half of big arc minus little arc. What are the two arcs? Let's shine our flashlight. Got a lot to shine here. Okay. Hmm. I see one arc. This says 260 degrees. That's what this says. 260 degrees. Here's the little arc. That doesn't say anything. But I see that these are tangents. This side of the angle's tangent to the circle and this side of the angle's tangent to the circle. That means it's only touching at these two points, which means we can find this missing arc right here because it's the rest of the way around the circle. 360 minus 260 is 100. So this missing arc, 100 degrees. Now I said I usually like to write them outside the circle, but there's really not enough space there. Now we fill in the blanks. Angle X, one half. The bigger arc is farther away, and the little arc is closer. And then we compute. And that's it. Now, sometimes you might have to deal with algebra, so let's look at this one. Angle in the exterior, angle equals half of big arc minus little arc. Really, we can just say arc minus arc but it's good to think big minus little. So we take our flashlight and shine, and then fill in the blanks. The angle says 61, half of, the bigger arc is this one, 10x plus one. I don't know if that's hard to read. We need more parentheses here, 10x plus one. Minus 5x minus one is the little one, We've got to combine these like terms first. So 61 equals half, 10x minus 5x is 5x, and 1 minus a negative 1 makes 2. I can get rid of that half now. Multiplying by 2, and then solving the rest. Subtracting 2 makes 120, and 120 divided by 5 makes 24. Yay! 
Let's do a quick summary because we dealt with a lot of stuff here. Central, inscribed, interior, and exterior. Four different types of angles. Central angle, the angle equals the arc. Inscribed angle, angles half of the arc. Interior, angle is the average, half of arc plus arc. And exterior, angle is half of arc minus arc, where we always remember to subtract big from little, so we end up with a positive value.